Good morning, everyone. Uh, taking a look at the ES right here. This is a very weak bounce. See the auction vacuum right there? For the futures in five this morning, I was just on the Benzinga free market. And, um, you know, a lot of times we don't, we don't want to hear that we're in a space of retracement because we really are built to be um, optimistic. But what we have is a lot of negative motion that tells us that our bounces are going to fade and in these negative environments, the bounces up can be very savage. We think that we are returning to a beautiful space when indeed we're not. Um, so this really could lead to more selling in the morning that turns around and lifts. But I do essentially expect a test somewhere around this region, uh, 2535, before our, our uh, expiration tomorrow, which is quadruple witching. So we've got all of our futures, the quarterly and the monthly formations that are going to be expiring tomorrow. And so we'll be watching for that. Today, below 2496, we're very likely to retest the lows and lower um, the RTY. Incidentally, in the life of this composite contract, it has all time lows. That's really very negative. So bounce pass is still going to be negative there. Let's take a look at the NQ. Same sort of thing. We've got the low volume profile here telling us that's the end of the road for now. Pull back into the support. Could we fade even more? Yes, indeed, we could. Very much so. Um, but again, this could be a bit of a capitulative move downward that will turn around and bounce savagely into old breakdown areas, which are essentially 1,200 ticks higher. Now, not saying that that is definitively going to be the case, but we are in a region where these very sharp moves are now stalling out and then um, either continuing down or trying to build us some kind of uh, reversal action. Right now, if we take a look at the 6900 area, oh no, the spinning wheel of death. Um, if we look at this 6900 area and we look for the breakdown, maybe it's 6800, but it's fairly close to 69, right? That's where our, one of our big triggers said, hey, we are definitively in a short formation. And that gives us this uh, fade action that's going to give us downside pressure all the more, and now we are looking at a distance that traversed about 300 points. And so 300 points from here would be, you know, fairly close to where we are right now. So if we fade here, it could be a little bit of a measured move of capitulation that moves us back to the upside. We just have to be really careful. Same sort of thing happening. Why we use a time price opportunity tool. By the way, Motive Wave has got a Christmas year-end sale for the folks that said, wait a second, really mean there's nothing you're doing after Thanksgiving? They've never had a Christmas sale. And so um, now they have one. So it'll give you the second chance to get involved if you don't have Motive Wave yet. And this time price opportunity tool is phenomenal. And so this is what we're looking at. Either we sit in this area or fade and then attempt to bounce old resistance really up here, 23,900 and some change easily um, could be the old resistance new support. It could even be 24,000, but the bounces are going to fade. There's no way we can carry this momentum and have a reversal that holds without a collapse of shorter formations. This thing still looks like death on a stick. I've been looking for this to be a low support area for some time. And now all of a sudden we're staring down the numbers 44 and even 42. But what are we doing here? We are holding our lows, trying to bounce up. We've got to get up over 47. That's going to be key. Could we trade up into 47? Potentially, but we're in a very noisy patch. That means both buying and selling for about 20 cents on either side of this environment before we figure out what's going on. Lastly, gold spiking out. I said uh, to the folks at Benzinga, hey, you know, they were like, where are we to look? And I said, you know, look at an ETF that has a dividend yield with gold. 
right? VWO is the one that I actually sent to uh, uh, my folks at StockTwits. Take a look at that for uh, dividend yield if you're not comfortable trading these markets in the futures environment where a lot of hedging is going on. It's going to be quick, it's going to be volatile, and it's going to be an amazing place for traders. It is not going to be a pretty place for investors. They're going to make, uh, they're going to have opportunities for a lot of places to go wrong. So this continues to move up. Pullbacks are buy zones. Remember, it's trading against that dollar space, and then it's also trading as a hedge to the upside. Small amount of volume on the rise up here. So expect a fade. Do not chase this out of the top. All right. Good luck trading today, folks. This has been the Futures in 5.